But today is a very, very exciting day for athletics at Ferris State University. We're, we're very proud of our student athletes, of the coaches, and the men and women who work in our athletic department. I'm especially proud of the announcement we're going to make today because I think we found precisely the right person to lead athletics at Ferris State University. I want to turn this to Vice President Jerry Scobie, who really has directed this process and led the search committee that's led to this very important announcement. With the retirement of Tom Curran, our former athletic director, we launched a national search, an aggressive national search, to find our next athletic director. Brought in the services of Parker Executive Search to assist us in that process. Um, we were also very fortunate during that interim time to have Carrie Becker, an internal person, step up and step into that interim role, and we're very grateful for what she did for us in that interim period. The pool that we attracted to this position was a broad one. It was a deep one. Uh, it represented individuals from coast to coast. And we were very impressed with that pool and very pleased with it. The search committee that we had did an outstanding job of considering the candidates uh, in front of us. They were committed to finding a high-quality uh, individual to be our next athletic director. And they were committed to partner with us on a very aggressive schedule. And they hit a home run in both accounts from my perspective. We had three finalists who were invited to campus, and, and a number of people that provided input in the process indicated that all three of them were outstanding candidates, and any one of them would have served Ferris State University very well. I'm sure you've heard the saying that cream rises to the top, and Perk was that cream that rise, rose to the top of our candidate pool. Perk was the one finalist out of the three finalists that we invited to campus that had athletic director experience. I served five years as the athletic director at a, at a larger D1 school. Many, many, many references that we talked to had such great things to say about Perk. I'm really convinced that you did not come today to listen to me, but to hear from and to meet our new athletic director. I'm very pleased to be able to present. Mr. Perk Weisenberg. It's great to have you here. Jerry, thank you. Thank you. Dave, great to have you here. Thank you very much. Well, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. I want to thank everybody else here in the room for, uh, for showing up this afternoon, especially Urban Marilyn and Dave and Sue. Thank you for, uh, for coming over and being a part of this, this special time. Um, I'm honored, to be quite honestly, uh, to be here as the athletic director at Ferris State University. I uh, want to say thanks to President Eisler Jerry Scobie and all the members of the search committee and would also echo what Jerry had said about Carrie Becker stepping in um, as an interim athletic director. She not only was interim AD, but she was overseeing compliance She's an, and also the softball coach and the senior women's administrator. So I think she was more than happy to pass the baton as I hit campus last week. Um, I had read and heard from a number of people and read about Fair State University as being a, a place to to learn and to live. And um, I heard President Eisler talk about that yesterday at a, uh, a grand opening uh, for a new uh, residence hall suite here on campus, which is absolutely wonderful. And if the first three days on the job for me, or three or four, I think, are any indication, then this is exactly what Fair State University is all about, because the people have been wonderful. They've been marvelous from, from the search process, which Jerry outlined was methodical and, and uh, very detailed, and it was. It was one of the more extensive searches I've been involved with, and I've been involved with a couple, not a whole lot, but a few. Uh, professionalism was outstanding. Uh, communication was excellent, and uh, the same process is kind of carried through with my time here, short time here in Ferris State University, just through meeting people, orientation, etc. cetera. Uh, I'm extremely impressed. I was before I took the job, and now I'm convinced that you know, it certainly made a great decision for me and my family. Um, we're glad to be back in the state of Michigan. I'm Michigan born and raised, and so is my wife. And it's, it's exciting to be back here, closer family, and to be able to be at an institution of this caliber uh, that is a commitment to students, student athletes, and also the competitive values that we want to instill in our teams. And uh, that's what I hope to bring to the Bulldog Athletic Department, is use my experiences uh, as a leader, as a former student athlete, as an athletic director, um, 
and as an associate AD working for some of the, the best people I know in the business, and two of them are in this room right now. And I want to use that to help grow and develop Bulldog Athletics. How we go about that is, uh, is going to be a work in progress. We'll have to define that and we'll have to evaluate that as we go. But there's some very capable people in the athletic department. I'm convinced we've got great support, community support, institutional support. Um, and I just look forward to kind of rolling up my sleeves and getting to work to help um, instill a little bit more of a, maybe a championship attitude uh, at Ferris State University in regard to competitiveness, but also the quality of experience we're going to provide young men and young women as they go through their years here on campus. Also our involvement with the community, our involvement with the state. Uh, Ferris State University is the fastest growing university in the state of Michigan. And I think that's a, a tool, a resource, a fact that we're going to use and we're going to promote to help us recruiting wise and to help uh, make Big Rapids and Ferris State University more of a destination place. So I couldn't be more honored, couldn't be more pleased. Um, I'm anxious for my family to get here. Uh, they won't get here till a little bit later on this semester other than being in town next week for a family wedding over in Mount Pleasant. And um, I know we're going to love and enjoy this. And I've told them a couple times on the phone already that uh, they're going to like it when they get here because I love it. So thank you very much for being here. And it's a pleasure for me to be here as your new AD.